Hello everyone, this is my new system. In this one we have two video cards from HIS. They are ATI cards. As you can see I put both bridges on there. We just need the one, we don't need two. It doesn't hurt anything. Today the demonstration will be about connecting to the television, which is over here. And you can see the wire in the back connected to a uh, video 2 and it's going right to the back of the computer I'm do a log on over here It's very quick at loading, it's uh, running an EMD X6 1055 <clears throat> And for showing you the... I did the right click on the desktop to call the Catalyst Control Center You can also go on the menu right here, taskbar and call up your ATI Catalyst Control Center because I got two cards installed a few menus show up and in crossfire mode you'll have an icon showing on the right corner you can disable all these features from here either the icon or the crossfire itself when you go with the Catalyst Control Center you can go in advanced mode or normal mode I prefer this mode, it's much better as you can see I selected graphics then I'm going to Crossfire X doing so allows me to see that check mark box <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> well, that's great for a video, eh? You can identify your, your GPU here from here. It's according to the manual. I have to hook up the monitor to the first GPU card. If I go to the second, it will not. Or the crossfire will not work. On this motherboard for this computer, there is also a graphic module, but I'm not using it. I turned it off. Some video cards can use it for hybrid because ATI can use more than one video card for cross firing. From here you can see I got the use of two video outputs. One goes to my television and one goes to my monitor, which is an LG. Alright, because Crossfire is enabled, I can run any video games and you'll see a crossfire icon. I'm gonna launch Requiem just so you can see the that icon showing on the corner. I can't remember if I have it enabled or not but we'll find out. I should double check before I go. Uh, crossfire X icon show. It's disabled, so I'll place the check mark on it. Uh, all I had to do was click on it. Then, if I go join for this particular game or oh, start, start would start the game, right? Oh, I still have to wait. It's not downloading. It's using the internet. This game. Meanwhile, I can show you what it looks like on my television. to do the password here 
parental reason. That's my PS3 showing up. All I have to do is change my input to computer. And there is what it look this is what it looks like when you have the desktop showing on your computer and when you have the desktop on the television itself. Right now the sound will come out from my speaker system. I finally have a result of 100% here so I can launch the game now. There we go. I'm not gonna play the game to show you anything else than just the icon here. Yeah, it's a game that everything takes a while to load. It's not the computer that slows things down. So there's the icon right here. As you can see, the sound comes from here. So I'm going to kick myself out of there. Yes, all I wanted to show was the icon. And if I wanted to play that game somewhere else, I would have to move that game display to my TV screen. If I wanted to watch a movie or a DVD or even the internet, and I wanted that to show on the television, I would have to drag this item. I'm restoring it right now, it's easier to move. And as you can see, I'm dragging it right now to my television and there she is right there and all you have to do then is maximize this and now she is fully using the television now the sound if I go play some videos on MSN the sound does not appear on the television. So what would I have to do? Okay, is to go on the desktop. Call up Real Tech Audio Manager. By tuning the sound manager. Then all those tabs here can be an output to speakers, to my headphone, or to my television. All you have to do is press this button right here. And then at that point, you get all your sound over here. Well, it happens that I picked a, a video that is kind of stupid. Pick something more fun, maybe. Uh, Jessica Simpson was all smiles as she left the studio of The Late Show with David Letterman. And why not? She showed she could clearly laugh about her string of failed romances. So there you have it. You have the sound on the TV right now. So whatever you have that you want to display on the TV, you'll have to come here on your desktop screen and move it over to the TV. The only difficulty I see with this is when you want to play or use the Internet Explorer once again it does not appear here so if your TV was off you wouldn't know that it's on your TV so it's up to you to have the configuration the way you like it if you want to change it then again it's all about user preferences If you want to play video games on your TV, then you move your settings, sound and video to your TV. And if you want to play it on your computer, you know what to do then.
All right, that closes this video for this crossfire demonstration for sound and for video. Hopefully it helps a few people. Sorry about the sneezing earlier. Have a good day.